okay so finally when it comes to the apple maps application i'll be happy to let you know that apple has made some major updates to this apple maps app that you see right here and you see on this iphone so now you have the ability to be able to add multiple stops that you can 100 percent customize unlike what was there before so in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can add multiple stops that you can edit right on your iphone right here on the channel my name is ben and this is half man half tech so first things first this is where we came from right so this is what used to be there on the apple maps application so you would open up your maps app right there and then you enter like a specific destination where you want to go to and then you click where it says get directions and once you you see the route and you are happy with it and you see the options that you have you choose one and then you click go right once you click go like that you can see that you know it starts to give you the direction and when you want to add a stop right you click this up arrow and then you click where it says add a stop so if you click there you can see that what used to be there before was preset so you could add dinner you could add a gas station coffee parking convenience or banks so these were so limited you couldn't customize much and you were limited from your options but i'm happy to let you know that now there's updates to this and you can do much more on the apple maps app so this is now the latest ios version so the first thing make sure your uh, iphone and app is up to date and then open up your apple maps application like that so you open it up like this and then choose or do a search of where you want to go so for example we choose like apple uh, like an apple store anyway nearby so apple vancouver for example so anyways apple university is showing us seattle or something like that okay apple guilford town center in surrey that one is pretty close so we choose that as our destination and then you can see i have the option to choose or get directions right here if i click get directions you see it's asking me to choose a starting point the reason why it's asking me to choose a starting point is because well I know that most of you like me and if i was to show my exact location you might be able to visit me but this is not time for that so i went into my settings and i went to where it says a privacy so i went here privacy and security and i disabled location services so that's why it's asking me to choose a starting point this is a step that won't be necessary for you if you have your locations on so you this is just something that i want to show you and then if i want to choose a starting point let's say for example drake street will be our starting point and then you can see it shows us the route right so that is something that's pretty good and once you and you want to add a stop now to your route you can see here it says add a stop so when you click the way it says add the stop you can now choose like the stop that you want to add for example we say yvr that's the vancouver international airport and now you can see that we are going to go from david street uh, and then the apple store here and you can see yvr so it has added a stop if you want to add another stop for example we say uh let's say something like queen queen elizabeth park in vancouver and then it will also show the queen elizabeth park how do you tell how your step or your how your stops are arranged you can see that they have icons that represent the different stops that you have so for example you can see here that i'm starting at drake street and i'm going to the apple guilford town center so the apple guilford town center is represented by this apple logo you can see the apple logo is there the apple logo is there and then from there i'm going to yvr or vancouver international airport you can see it on the map right there it's depicted by that plane and you can see the plane there you can see the queen elizabeth park 
is picked by that tree and you can see the tree there that's how you tell which stops comes first or which comes second and the order of your stops so if you are not happy with the order let's say for example i see that you know the queen elizabeth park is like close to where my initial starting point is and i want to be able to go to it first i can press these three lines that you see here press it and then drag it there and you can see that my route will sort of recalculate so i'll go from drake street to queen elizabeth park and then go to the apple store and end up at vancouver international airport and then fly to see you guys so that's how you can add multiple stops to your route before you click go make sure you choose the stops where you want to go and unlike what was there before like we saw on this iphone where you are limited and you can only choose like gas stations or convenience or bank stores you have the option to add even addresses so if you wanted to add like an address like one two three four uh canby street you can see that you can add those addresses too and you will see it too and you can see depicted by this pin there and you can see it right there so i can be able to save gas and see how i'm going to go so i won't go this way and then go that way and then go back and then go there you can arrange your pins and your stops right here and you can see once you have too many stopped it's top it's sort of like customize or shrinks them right here so you can see if all in all i have about four stops and there's three stops here if you wanted to see all the stops just click there and you can see that they expand now if you want to delete a stop let's say for example you want to get rid of a stop you if you just click on it you see that it just shows you the stop right there and you can't sort of customize or something like that but if you wanted to delete a stop you can hold click and hold on it like this and then you can see it gives you the option to delete it and then you can delete it like that so that's something that's really good that allows you to add multiple stops when it comes to the apple maps it's something that the iphone was lacking so now for the first time you can do that like i mentioned if this does not work for you make sure you go into your settings on your iphone go to where it says general and then go to software update and make sure you are updated to the latest iphone ios version you can see this has been supported on ios 16 and it's something that's big and major for the other iphone that i was demonstrating with right here you can see that if i was to go into the settings of this iphone and then go to the general and software update this iphone doesn't support ios 16 so you can see that it only goes to 15.7 so it doesn't get this advanced apple maps feature so for this to work you probably will need an iphone 8 or newer and then you can customize and edit multiple stops across your route as you go about your business now this is something that's major and if you do find it helpful in a way and you like this video don't be shy remember to like the video and if you haven't subscribed a sub would be amazing now stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video peace